everybody. My name's Mickey from here at Old Buzzard Ukes in Lake Buzzard. Now, you'll have to excuse me because I have never, ever, ever done anything like this before, one of these kind of unpacking videos. But I'm so excited about this item that I just had to do one. Now, what is it? You see, this bad boy is a Lava Music U, or is it a U2? Hang on. Yeah, oh, Lava U. And it is a tenor sized ukulele that is nothing like you've ever seen before. Right, so what I'm going to do is just reposition myself a bit and we'll get on with <laughs> get it out of his box. <laughs> you ready? Here it is. Now, this one has actually been opened to be checked by uh, an employee of Lava here in the UK, but you're going to love this. Watch. There's usually a tag strip which pulls across here, apparently. There's a picture of it on the front, right? So, here we go. <laughs> it is packaged so well. Amazing. Right, first of all, you've introduced to this little envelope here. It's a bit like opening up a Mac computer. Right, what have we got here? It's just a little welcome pack, I guess. Uh-huh. Open it. <laughs> no. Oh, haha, <laughs> I like this. A little bit of artwork here with a welcome message on the back. I'm not particularly what it is. You can read it yourself. Uh, some, yeah, instructions. Yeah, look at the screen. Oh, a plectrum. How handy. <laughs> and a cleaning cloth. Smash it, right. Anyway, I'll put those back in. You can, uh, Explore those when you get your own one of these ukuleles. Right, the uh, the packaging is as you can probably see a big piece of um, polystyrene foam sort of thing. It's really densely packed, so keeping it nice and safe from it, its travels, from its manufacturing. You ready? I'm going to do it like this so you can see. Right, then drum roll. And wipe my mouth. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's in bed. <laughs> As you can see, they've really taken time to actually package this thing nicely. Uh, put the box down there, right, okay. <laughs> You're gonna love this case, it's amazing. Right, let's remove it from here. Ready? Da da da, da 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 da, da da da. Ooh, <laughs> isn't that awesome? This thing is apparently called a space case. You can't buy them uh, separate to the ukuleles. So they're very particular to the brand. But it's amazing, isn't it? It looks like some kind of science fiction pod thing that's got your laser in. Anyway, enough of that malarkey. And as you can see, it, it also displays the instrument beautifully. It's a work of art in itself. And there's a button here that says push. Do you think you should have one of those kind of like Star Wars door noises? Like a, I think you should have, but it doesn't. Now, anyway, open it up. <laughs> Check that bad boy out. Here it is. The Lava U ukulele. Right, I'll give you a bit of a look at it now. Oh, yes. Nice logo there. Brand name there and so on. There's a little tag there will get in the way. Uh, right. Give me a moment. I'm just going to revise a few things and tell you a bit about it. I'm going to tell you a bit more about this now. Right, we're in. As you can see, it has the most beautiful design. No hard edges apart from on the edge of the neck here. You've got the logo there. And a little graphic there, which is mirrored. And the whole thing is just so tactile and just lovely to run your hands across. It's really cool. So I really like small detail, but it's the machine heads. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Lovely design in themselves. 
apparently they got something special about them. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It said something on the website. Uh, this is nice as well, isn't it? Looks like like an air vent on the side of something, like a Corvette or something, doesn't it? It's really cool. The bridge here is interestingly slightly uh, glossier than the surrounding body, which I think that's a nice effect. The uh, the saddles themselves have got some sort of intonation stuff on them, yeah, to help keep it in tune. Uh, and I've got the little logo there, with the glinting in the light. Very nice. Now, looking at it, you might assume that the top and the bottom are two separate pieces. Aha, you'd be wrong. This is actually a one-piece moulding. The whole thing is injection moulded and therefore very, very strong. And also the neck has uh, some, I can't remember what it was. Oh, I should have put some notes down about it. The neck's got something to do with it, makes it stiffer and more stable. So what's it made of? What's it made of? Right, it's something called Air Sonic, which is a carbon fiber composite. I don't really know the science behind it, but it's supposed to have the most amazing properties. Probably one of the most important things is being carbon fiber, it's not uh, susceptible to things like temperature change or change in humidity, which means this can be a traveling companion wherever you go, be it uh, Iceland or the desert, if you want to go there, or maybe the rainforest. It won't matter, this thing will always play and remain solid and in tune and sound great. Uh, was it the, oh yes, there's something else I wanted to tell you about. The, the, the top itself isn't flat underneath. It's built up a load of, of a load of honeycomb shapes. Uh, there's a special name for it. Just a minute, I can't find it. I've got some notes here. Da, 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 da. Ah yes, it's called Breathe Net Bionic Soundboard. Now, that's an interesting name for it. But what is really fascinating is how it works. It's a load of honeycombs. I can't show you, obviously, because I can't show you inside the ukulele. But it's a load of honeycombs, and they're designed in such a way that they offer the the, the, the best mechanical properties for wherever, whatever position they are on the soundboard, which helps with uh, making this ukulele sound very responsive, uh, a little fuller than you might expect for a an instrument of this sound. So, so this size. <laughs> Uh, I told you I haven't done this before, uh, and that just makes it even more special. I've kind of run out of things to say about that, but there's lots more details about that on the website and so on. So, and uh, there's, there's people who are far more qualified to talk about such things than I am. Right, let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Okay, so what does it sound like? Bear this in mind. You're probably watching this on either your smartphone, laptop, whatever. So the sound quality isn't going to be particularly good. So you're not going to get the full effect of what it sounds like. Also, I recorded this just using my iPhone. So therefore, you're not going to really get the full benefit of its acoustics. However, I can assure you that it sounds absolutely lovely. It's really rich and sustains for a good deal longer than you might expect a ukulele to do so. and was well, quite a joy to play actually it's very different to uh, a conventional wooden ukulele but strangely similar at the same time I'd say the difference is uh, this responds a bit quicker and for its sound for, for its size sorry I've got that mistake again I would say, yeah, it's just slightly fuller in the whole of the right frequency range. Whereas I find with a lot of those kind of guys is that they will have a specific signature to them. This is a specific signature. Whereas this thing, yeah, really even. Now, what's this for? Ha ha, can you, I don't know, you can't see in there. You probably can't. Well, in here is the lava, what is it called? Hang on. 
L2 mini pickup and preamp. Secret weapon, as I said. This little thing has actually got an amplifier inside it. Now, the idea isn't for it to make it louder, but to allow you to add some effects to the sound of your ukulele. Right, give me a moment. So, these sounds. You've got three controls on the top here. I'm gonna to have to move with the glasses because I can't read otherwise. The first one here is for overall volume of the internal amplifier. The second one is an effect depth. And the third one is the depth of reverb. Now, there's a little switch in here that if I press, you have to wait for a moment and then can you hear that? Listen. It's got reverb on it. Isn't that cool? And I can control the amount of reverb by turning this little knob here. Hang on. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I can turn it down again. A little bit. Yeah, it sounds a bit better. Mm -hmm. Also, you've got chorus here as well. All right, now chor chorus is, I've turned it off with a bit of reverb. Now I'm gonna turn it back on again. Can you hear it? Slight wavering in the sound. Okay, and obviously you've got the volume on the end. Now also, there's another switch in here which you can't actually see, but we've changed it from chorus to echo, listen. I love that. As you can see, it doesn't make it louder. It just imparts the extra sound onto the sound of the ukulele. It's brilliant. Anyway, I'll try and play a few things. Give me a moment. Okay. So let's see, we've got, I'm gonna use the echo first of all. I'm gonna set that to a rhythm. Not too fast, hang on. Right, here we go. And. <laughs> That's so much fun. the chorus now hang on so the chorus isn't quite as uh deep so but quite handy this is this music shop here we do not ban stairway this thing into an amplifier so give me a minute there it is there okay so I have now plugged this into uh, an amplifier that's here it's a Kinsman acoustic guitar amp just a minute I'll just turn it around so you can see there you are now I've switched all the effects off so that the effects you're hearing are those that are coming from the ukulele uh, so give it a strum again Bear in mind that you're not listening to this on a hi-fi system and this doesn't be recorded in the recording studio. It's just my iPhone speaker, microphone, sorry. Well, that's pleasing. Yeah, that's great. So the controls here work in the same way as they do when you've got the ukulele working with the, uh, the speaker that's inside it. So that chorus effect 
is coming from here. The reverb effect is coming from here as well. Very satisfying. Actually a really, really good uh, amplified sound. Sometimes I find with uh, these kind of pickup systems, they sound a bit nasally. This is like, this sounds lovely. the echo. Yeah, the, e the echo repeats are quite loud. anything to play. It's great fun though. <sighs> Sorry that's too much fun. I'm gonna stop that. Right. Now do you remember I mentioned about the microphone? Now as I said when it's not plugged into an amplifier the microphone doesn't seem to do a great deal but it will work now. Check this out. So if you're one of those kind of players who likes to use their hands, fingers to add percussion, there's not much coming through there, which is actually a rather good thing because it means that this is isolated really, really well from the body. However, check this out. Here it goes. All of a sudden you've got a drum. Brilliant. So for those of you who like using hands and thumbs and fingers to play the body of your instrument, it's perfect. I do again, if you're using a loop pedal, you want to set up a drum pattern. It's actually quite satisfying. It doesn't have much an effect on the actual sound of the ukulele though. The, the string sound stays pretty much the same. Although there is a bit of a, a uh, you can sense the body of the instrument in the sound, but it's not changed that much. To be honest with you, I don't play very much using my hands on the instrument, but just to demonstrate. Anyway, so that's what it does. Um, a conclusion next. See you in a moment. Right, so conclusion, hmm. what do I say? I love it, I absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic instrument. It's, it's tactile, it's fun to play, it sounds great, it's innovative, it's unique, uh, and the L2 Mini preamp really does actually make a difference. It's not a gimmick at all, it is actually really useful and functional. Uh, both with the ukulele on its own and when it's plugged into an amplifier. It's fabulous. It, uh, having those extra sounds in, in, in your arsenal really does add to the, your creativity and what you can do uh, performing just either on your own or amongst friends. Uh, there are one or two things uh, that I am not 100% keen on, but they're just personal things. Uh, one of them would be the chorus sound. Uh, for me, the set, the chorus sound when it's being used without an amplifier isn't deep enough. I'd like it to be a little richer and also I'd like the sweep to be slower. You can't change those things, they're preset. And so I'd like I'd like that to be slower. Uh, and the other thing, oh yeah, this these knobs, they look great, but they're it's actually very difficult to tell if you're moving them or whether your fingers are slipping around them. There is tiny little dots on them which I have to take my glasses off to see because I, I, can't, I can't decide whether I'm long side or short side. But look, you, can you see? 
I can't see it, can you? So th that's something else I, I'd be keen for lava to do is to, to maybe make, make the knobs so that they, you can actually get a bit more of a grip on them and, and turn them. But they're just silly little things uh, which have no bearing really whatsoever on how great this instrument is. Uh, this particular colour is called, um, hang on, I did actually try and rehearse all these bits and pieces, but it didn't work, did it? Oh, and glasses off. Yeah, this particular one is called Sparkle Blue, uh, but I don't know if you see much of that there. There are other colours. There is Sparkle Red, Sparkle Pink, Sparkle Purple. Sparkle black, sparkle gold. Uh, I think I've actually got a picture of some of the other colours here. Just a minute. Ah, oh, yes, I have. One minute. Good. Right, look, look. So there, there you can see the full range in their little space cases. That's cool. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, putting up with my rather inept presentation skills but as I said I just ex I was so excited about this instrument I just really 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 wanted to share it with you all a little bit on the expensive side 350 but you do get an instrument that, that will last indefinitely because of the materials it's made of uh, you do get the amplifier inside it with the effects on it and the ability to plug it into an amplifier as well and also you get that funky case and an element of cool. <laughs> I really love it. Anyway, as I say, thanks for watching and I'll see you again some other time. Bye bye for now.